any man's death diminishes me, because I am involved in mankind, and therefore never send to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. These are the concluding lines of John Donne's 17th meditation, which he composed in 1623 while he was gravely ill. While the meditation is not a poem, it is a wonderfully representative expression of a consciousness increasingly coming to terms with the vastness of the world. In fact, the same meditation contains another immortal line by Donne, No man is an island, a wholehearted declaration of human interconnectedness if there ever was one. This curiosity about the world, this willingness to look outward and seriously contemplate humanity's place in the universe, to take the sum total of humankind's knowledge and distill it into verse. This is why the works of the metaphysical poets continue to demand our consideration six centuries later. The aim of this course, demystifying the metaphysical, the poetry of John Donne, is to give you better access to that moment in history when a potent mix of political upheaval, religious conflict, astonishing discoveries, and the emergence of a modern language yielded some of the most thought-provoking poetic works of the English language. In doing so, you will eventually be equipped to conduct your own research and analysis, producing a reading of a John Donne poem that is uniquely your own. We will begin by investigating the landscape of the world that John Donne and his contemporaries inhabited to gain an appreciation of the complex tensions that preoccupied them. Next, we'll zoom the lens in further to Donne's life in particular and consider the forces, both socio-historical and personal, that shaped much of his work. The last two weeks will be focused on your summative project, which will be an analysis of a poetic work by John Donne. To prepare for this project, we will be looking at several other analytical works and thinking about the way different modes of communication, textural, oral, visual, etc., can be harnessed in that process. The last week will be devoted entirely to researching and developing your individual project. Once it's complete, you'll be able to share your work with your classmates and celebrate your collective range of creative and critical thought. All along the way, you'll be exposed to a range of instructive content, complete weekly activities, and engage in discussions to help you further along in your metaphysical journey. Information about course requirements, structure, expectations, and the technical details of our learning management system can all be found on the syllabus on the following page. A PDF copy of the syllabus is also accessible at any time under course files in the upper right corner of the classroom window. Make sure to read the next several pages of introductory information carefully before beginning the first lesson. If you have any questions, don't worry. Every week, you will have a space to share concerns and get feedback. With that, you're ready to embark. Good luck in your exploration.